Now you all know I love tech from the super small like the iPhone 12 mini to something, well, a little bit larger. Now, while I love being at my desk in the office, sometimes I find a need to step out and recharge. In this case, both figuratively and literally. Folks, this is the VW ID4, a feature packed all electric SUV from Volkswagen, and it's going to help me recharge. <music> So honestly, one of the best things about owning an electric vehicle like the VW ID4 is waking up charged every morning, ready to hit the road. No gas stations necessary. So the very first stop on today's journey, of course, involved coffee. So stopping at Louisville's Please and Thank You was, of course, a no-brainer. These folks are known around the Ville for their chocolate chip cookie bakery. And of course, I got my priorities straight. I grabbed those, but I also made sure to grab my coffee because it's super early and I'm going to need that fuel to get me through the morning. So now that I'm properly fueled with cookies and coffee, it's time to hit the road. But first, let me show you what CarPlay is all about in the VW ID4. So obviously the big thing here, 12 inch display, super large, super fresh, super clean, right? Let's talk about number one, why I love CarPlay, and number two, reasons why CarPlay is nice to have in the VW ID4. So obviously as a longtime Mac user and iPhone user, I'm a big fan of Apple Music. I love being able to play it on my HomePod, on my iPhone, on my Mac, but there's arguably no better place for Apple Music than inside your car. You can access your library directly or you can do like I'm doing now and literally ask Siri to play anything and it'll play it back for you. Yeah, there's over 75 million songs and this one right here, Goosebumps by Nord is just one of that 75 million. But of course, the nice thing about CarPlay is that it's basically like an iPhone on your dashboard. So it's not just about music. That means you have access to all sorts of apps, including Apple Maps. So before we depart from please and thank you, let's go ahead and route our next destination. Now watch what happens when I leave the Maps app in CarPlay. It'll actually tell you your next action right there at the bottom of the interface so you don't miss anything. Now, before we depart, let's load up the podcast app and catch up with the latest episode of 9 to 5 Mac Daily. So CarPlay, like I said, gives you access to your music, gives you access to navigation, gives you access to your podcast, and there's third-party apps as well. So if you don't like the Maps app, you can use Google Maps or you can use Waze. One more thing I want to show you guys, if you tap this button down here, you get the nice two-up display. So it will show your maps, and it'll also show all your other information, your next turn, your podcast controls or your music controls, and even things like appointments, upcoming appointments and things like that. But that's not where the tech stops in the VW ID4. This isn't your grandpa's CarPlay, no. This is wireless CarPlay. So you literally just get in the car and it connects to your iPhone with no wires. And not just that, you get a built-in wireless charger as well. So it's like the best of both worlds. Speaking of best of both worlds, you get two screens, so you don't have to look elsewhere to see how fast you're going. It's literally right in front of you. And there's even massaging seats for the driver and passenger. Great for a long commute. And one of my favorite aspects is the extra large all glass panoramic roof. Perfect for stargazing and especially nice for your passengers in the back. But what I really appreciated, especially in the daytime, was this built-in sunshade, and that helps keep the cabin nice and cool even during peak sunshine. But the tech and amenities don't stop there. There's a built-in ambient mood lighting system, and it comes with several can presets, but you can go in and actually customize those presets if you want to. So there's RGB lighting for the doors, the dashboard, even the footwell, and you can change the color and brightness for all those areas independently of one another. So you know I had to go ahead and do my thing. I mean, you see it right there, the purple on the dash, the red on the doors. What are your thoughts about my color combination? And hey, I'm not gonna take offense if you're not feeling it because it's super easy to go in there and change it up again. 
Now, one of the things that surprised me is just how nimble this SUV is and just how easy it is to move from a gas powered vehicle to an electric SUV like this. Okay, so there are several areas that I really like about driving the VW ID4. Number one, the turning radius is amazing for an SUV this size. I mean, it is so nimble in the corners. It's so easy to do a U-turn, which is something I really appreciate it coming from my daily driver. And when you put it into B mode, it also has pretty strong regenerative braking, which means using your actual brake a lot less. But like I was saying, this SUV is nimble, it's peppy, and it's extremely fun to drive. It definitely has what it takes for everyday driving, merging in traffic, passing on the highway, etc. So that's one of the things that I appreciate about the VW ID4 is that it makes it super easy for someone who normally drives a gas powered vehicle to make the move to an all electric SUV. Now being a compact SUV, the VW ID4 has a liftgate that gives you plenty of storage space, obviously not enough to house the biggest bat in the world, but there's plenty of storage to go around including these hidden compartments in the back, so that's extra handy when you're traveling. Of course the seats fold down as well, plus you get more passenger volume than the 2021 Toyota RAV4. Now we've been around this city for a while, and we're going to make a trip out to Bernheim Forest a little bit later. But what about when you need to charge when out and about? Well, let me show you how that works. So I stopped at my local Electrify America charging station. Now there's over 600 Electrify America stations with another 100 plus coming soon. Charging is easy and you can monitor charging status on the 12 inch display. Compared to the average gas vehicle, the Volkswagen ID4 electric SUV can provide as much as $4,000 in estimated fuel cost savings over five years. Not to mention the convenience of having a charged car when you wake up in the morning. Now it's time to head over to our final destination, which actually isn't all that close, but it's worth it. The legendary Bernheim Forest. Folks, the air out here smells downright amazing. It's a great place to just go, sit back, relax, get away from all the hustle and bustle in the city and just take it all in, go for a hike have a picnic, whatever the case may be, it is a great way to recharge. And that synergizes with this vehicle because driving the all electric Volkswagen ID4 means zero direct emissions, which is great for the environment, not only here at Bernheim, but also back in the city. And honestly, that, that makes you feel good knowing that you're playing your part, right? But at the same time, the car has to be practical. It has to work for you. And that's why the Volkswagen ID4 is such an exciting vehicle because not only is it zero direct emissions, but it also has the tech, it has the pep, it has the storage, along with many other convenience features like CarPlay, which honestly makes it a great alternative to a traditional gas-powered SUV. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.